How's it going? All right, tonight I'm going to explain to you guys how it's possible that you can learn over half of everything there is to know about a topic in less than a year, even though it would take you 20 years to learn every possible thing about that topic. It starts with this guy, Vilfredo Pareto. Yeah, that's actually his name. He was an Italian uh, economist and mathematician from the 19th century who figured out, among other things, that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by just 20% of the people. Uh, this is known as a power law distribution. Vilfredo was the first to discover what is known as the Pareto Principle, which says that for 80%, you can get 80% of the results for just 20% of the input. It was popularized by Google. What many people don't know about the Pareto Principle is that it's multiplicative. So if you multiply 80% times 80%, you get 64%, and 20% times 20%, you get 4%. So you can actually get 64% of the results for just 4% of the input. Multiplying it once more, we get to 41% of the results for just 0.16% of the input, going from a 4x uh, all the way up to a 256x return on investment. One of the most interesting applications of the 80-20 rule is learning. A study in the 1980s looked at people's performance on arithmetic-based trials and how that changed over time based on the number of trials that they completed. What they found is that there's a power law relationship between people's performance on the trials and the number of trials that they completed. This led the researchers to propose the power law of practice, which effectively says that people learn in a manner, manner similar to the 80-20 rule. <laughs> so if we apply the 80-20 rule to learning, we start to understand a lot more about how we learn and how long it takes. Uh, effort or results can be, uh, uh, results, <laughs> all right, so results can be uh, given by the amount of knowledge that you have, whereas effort is the amount of time. So a doctor takes 20 years to learn 100% of what it takes to learn to be a doctor. If we start with that, assuming that 20 years is 100% knowledge, we can then multiply it out and we start to see something really cool. We can learn 80% of a topic in just four years, 64% of a topic in 10 months, and 41% of a topic in just 12 days. Yeah. So I looked at this, I was like, 12 days, okay, well 12 days times eight hours a day, that's 100 hours. If you look at some of the world's leading online content, biology, computer science, and physics, you can finish their introductory courses in about 100 hours, okay. So okay, I'm not saying that I can go on Khan Academy, learn biology for 12 days, and I'm ready to do open heart surgery on you. That's one thing where a doctor's clearly needed to learn 100% of the knowledge. But if you look at an emergency medical technician, they take less than six months to train, and they've learned enough medical information to be able to handle a variety of emergency situations. That's a great example of the 80-20 rule at work. So taking this knowledge now that we have, that the 80-20 rule works like that. Uh, oh wait, nope, back one. Uh, so one thing to keep in mind, some of the distributions won't be 80-20. They might be 70-30, they could be 90-10, but they're all gonna be power law distributions. And so understanding the map, that about everything that we learn, then gives us a lot more insight on our career. If we look at our 40 years of our working life, if we start to break things into concrete blocks, it becomes a lot easier to plan out the different skills that we learn. We could look at the 40 years and learn 20 things, get really, really good at those, uh, spend 20 years and get really good at two different things. Or we could spend 40 individual years learning one thing pretty well and be good at 40 different things. Or you could create some combination in between. All of these are useful paths to take. It's clear that we definitely still need people who are deep experts in their field and understand and have studied their entire lives and practice so that we can trust our lives with them as they do things like open heart surgery. But we also need people who are polymaths and understand a little bit of biology, have taught themselves how to code, and can do basic hardware engineering to create the next wearable that millions of us could use even though that person isn't an expert in anything. We all have a lot of life ahead of us. As we continue to learn and grow, it's important to consider the Pareto Principle and 80-20 rule. It'll help motivate you to spend 12 weeks learning something new and help motivate you in year 10 of becoming an expert. So I challenge all of you, when you leave this theater today, go out and find something that you're excited about and learn it. You never know. In a couple of weeks, you could learn 41% of everything there is to know about it. Thanks.